couple. For more on HBO's big gamble, I want to bring in Porter Bibb. He's been uh, studying what this has meant for HBO. He's a longtime banker and advisor in the media space and also managing partner at Media Tech Capital Partners. So, uh, Porter, twice HBO is betting on a series based in New Jersey. What is <laughs> up with that? Okay, you've seen the pilot. You, you, you saw this episode. Um, how do you think, is it going to be a blockbuster for HBO or not? It's going to be a blockbuster, but not in terms of audience numbers. The, when, when Nielsen numbers come out tomorrow, you're going to find that it, it won't exceed three and a half million. And that's against 25 million people who watched the Giants game on the networks last night. Right. But, and how does that compare with the other series, The Sopranos? Well, that they well Sopranos actually started very slow, about a million and a half for the okay. first couple of episodes. Then it grew up. The biggest audience that HBO has ever had is True Blood with mm -hmm. four million. That's for the direct audience watching in real time. But okay. actually, you can inflate those numbers because on demand and DVD, DVR, uh, TV, so that, that they're probably going to be about 10 million watching the first right, episode. Right, just with add-ons yeah. on, on that. But it's not a gamble because okay, HBO's why? got 28 million, as Melissa just said, 28 million subscribers. They're paying whether they're watching or not. Right. So that beats the Hollywood model. It beats the advertisers' supported uh, Mad Men. Because type you're model. saying they have a captive audience sure. anyway. Yeah. Okay. I mean, this is this is a very modest investment for HBO, even though it's modest. yeah, it's over. Even if if it goes to 100 or 150 million dollars, they they made a, a billion and a half in in pre-tax profits last year at HBO. They don't care. It's the subscribers. That but they're count. obviously, but Porter, they're spending this kind of dough. Because they want to make sure that 28 million grows to 29, grows to 30. As grows Melissa to pointed out, they, they've been soft. Their, their subscriber base has been drifting away because there's so many options now in, in, in viewing. Uh, but the, the saving grace, I think, is going to be the tablet, the iPad, and, and others because it's going to be a la carte. You're going to walk around and watch Boardwalk Empire on your tablet as well as on your TV screen. And once there are only three and a half, four million tablets out there right now. But when it's 10 to 20 million, that's a bonanza. Then describe to me how HBO exactly makes money from that. Well, they're going to charge you uh, per episode, just the way they're charging now. And the big money for HBO comes from foreign sales. They've sold 160 countries of Boardwalk Empire, the biggest foreign sale in television history. Right. They they sell DVDs once the series has exhausted. Then they syndicate it. They sell it to other television. And cable networks. Okay, so this is all, I mean, this is all obviously a bonanza for HBO. However, then how does this change the movie studio landscape then? Well, you're going to find that, that there's a convergence. The studios are going to want to go to the tablet as well. Okay. Uh, Steve Jobs so is talking to all of Now you've got HBO competing with MGM or HBO competing with, okay. And the irony Bye. is that HBO began showing Hollywood movies on a subscription basis. Now they're making Hollywood movies and, and the studios are going to follow their path. Right. The studios are going to say, what have we created exactly. here? Okay. Porter, great to see you as always. Pleasure. Appreciate you stopping by Porter Bibb of Media Tech, a capital partner.